Okay, hi everyone. So today what we're going to do is go over a part of chapter two in the Stormy Attaway textbook in preparation for the flipped classroom. So here we go. So this is section 2.5.1 and there is a um, MATLAB function called uh, plot1.m that we're supposed to do. So I'll show you how to do that. I'll go to new script and the window changes a little bit in MATLAB and now I'm going to start typing in the, the code right here into the text editor. So I'll forget the comments. Let's start with the percent sign and I'll just say x is equal to 11 semicolon y is equal to 48 semicolon plot x y and r star like this with single quotes around it and no semicolon at the end of that I don't need it so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file and I'm going to call it plot one point like that and I'll hit save and now I'll execute it. So I know I haven't completed all of the text in the plot function sample code, but this will give you an idea for what's going on. I'm going to hit the green uh, button right here. And as you can see, there is a red dot, a red asterisk in the center of a plot figure that has appeared uh, on the screen right here. So that's what happens for the first three lines x is equal to 11 y is equal to 48 and plot x versus y with a red star so i'm going to go back into the editor i'll go to the next line we'll do line four so i'm going to type in the code that says axis on it so axis open parenthesis open square brackets uh, and while that's happening matlab will will create these yellow um, sort of squares they're uh, prompt windows. They're, they're there to help you. And you can ignore them if you want, but if uh, they're helpful, they can prompt you for certain help items. I'll ignore them for right now. So I've put a, uh, a square bracket. I'm going to put 9 space 12 space 35 space 55. Close the square bracket. Close the parenthesis. And you'll notice as I do that, that MATLAB highlights the... Um, other pair or the other member of the pair of the parenthesis and the square bracket in dark blue and it just helps you along. I'll hit enter. X label I'm gonna have time so this is going to be my uh, label for time on my horizontal axis and then Y label temperature temperature gotta spell that right okay now you'll notice every time I hit enter it doesn't actually execute anything and that's because there's a difference between working in the editor, so this portion of the window right here, and the command window, which is down here. In the editor, it's just a text file that we're manipulating, and so we can hit enter whenever we want. In the command window, we hit enter and it executes something. Now the last thing I'm going to put in the text editor right here is the title. So title, time, and temp. Okay. So those are all of the things that I need to put in the code to make it execute. I'm going to hit run again. So this is the green arrow. I'm going to click on it. And this is disappointing. Nothing's happened. Well, I don't know why. Well, actually I do. The figure has been updated in back of the window that we're working in. So I'm going to um, scroll over, or use the, the keyboard to get to the uh, window and back. And depending on your operating system, there are different ways of doing that. You can use your mouse to do it. So I could do it with, um, let's see, with my keyboard like that, or I could use my mouse and move my applications around like that. Okay. There we go. All right. So there it is. And as you can see at the top of the screen, I have time and temp, which is my title. I have temperature, which is my y-axis label, and then I have time, which is right here. That's my horizontal axis. Okay, so that's all in there. Now, in the original code in the Stormy Attaway textbook, there are comments, and these comments have um, percent signs in front of them. Let me show you what happens when you put those in. So I'm going to go back to line one. I'm going to hit enter. 
So I'm going to make a new line one. I'm going to say this is really this is a really simple plot of just just one point exclamation mark. You'll notice as soon as I put that that percentage sign at the very beginning of the line, it turns green. The whole text turns green. And that means that that MATLAB is going to consider that a comment and will not execute it. Okay, so I'm going to hit enter here. I'm going to make a new blank line two, and the blank line won't get executed either. I'm going to make by hitting enter a third line, and this is going to be create coordinate variables and plot a red star like that. Okay, so then x equal to 11, y is equal to 48, plot like that, hit enter twice. Now I have a new line 8, change the axes and label them. I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. And then I'm going to make a new line 13, and I'm going to say put a, a ring on the, no, no, no. Put a title on the plot, like that. Okay, so I'll forget the Beyonce reference there. Okay, so now I can open this up a little bit more so you can see the whole thing. So you can see that all of my plot 1.m edited file has all of the same lines as the Stormy Attaway example. Like that. I'm going to hit save. It's now saved. And we know it's saved when there's no star beside the dot M right there, right there. Okay, so when there's no star right here, there is no um, no need to continue saving. It's already saved. All right, so now I'm going to hit run again. And you'll see that nothing will change with respect to the figure. And that's because all the stuff in green has been done uh, in a way that has made it comments. And those comments are never executed by MATLAB. They're just handy for you to know. Okay, so that was the first thing that we needed to do with plotting. Now what we need to do is scroll through that text in chapter two. We read this. And then we'll see that on here, um, after the the practice problem, which you don't really need to worry about right now because it says prompt the user and we haven't gone over how to, how to prompt the user yet. We need to add more points. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do this right here. Okay. I am going to create a new vector with multiple X points and a new vector with multiple Y points. And the idea is that it's going to create a new plot like this. Okay, this is supposed to be done at the command line. And that's because there's two of these symbols right here. And that's short form for do the command line. I will go X is equal to one through six like that. Y is equal to open square bracket, 1, 5, 3, 9, 11, 8, semicolon, like that. Enter. Now I can verify to see that X and Y are what I created, so I'll type in X just like that, and it says it's 1 through 6, and I'll type in Y like that, and it says it's 1, 5, 3, 9, 11, and 8, and now I'm going to say plot X, Y, like this. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to look for that plot and that figure one that I had before has now had its asterisk, its red asterisk erased and it's been replaced by a sort of a jagged line. And so now you can see that you can manipulate figures, you can create code both in an editor and you can also do the code in the command window itself. And there you have it. Two examples based on the Stormy Attaway textbook of how to create figures using
both the MATLAB editor and the uh, command window.